Some crackers. Oh, well, that's fine. That's absolutely splendid. Well, come on, then. It's really good to see you again, Julia. I've been beginning to think I'm living in a madhouse. I always thought it was. Last now, is it? Oh, it's this man, Alcock. He's a really cold fish. I think he winds himself up with a key every morning. Oh, he's efficient, all right, but... Well, all he seems to be concerned about is economy and sanitation. Oh, what a nasty combination. <sighs> Lovely. David, are you... are you on duty tonight? Our housemaster's on duty 24 oh, hours. Oh, I know that. You know what I mean. I think I could arrange for us not to be disturbed. No fires, no late night crises. I hope not. Good. Is this where you sleep? Yes. Goodness. What a very narrow bed. It's been a years. I... I found I got a bit lost in the big bed. You did rather go to the other extreme, didn't you? Quite wrong. There's plenty of room here. <laughs> what would you do if Mr. Alcock suddenly arrived for a late night consultation? I'd tell him that you were the parent of a prospective pupil and that you'd come to look the place over to see if it matched up to your exacting standards. Oh, it does, Mr. Alcock. It is all entirely satisfactory. Mm. Silly man. <laughs> you know, you haven't told me a thing about how you're getting on. A word about the job or the American trip. Haven't I? You know you haven't. Well, here goes. I'm going to America again. For good this time. I, I tried to write you a letter, but I couldn't seem to find the right things to say. And so I got in my little car, and I came to see you. Glad you did. Haven't finished yet. I'm going to get married to Hiram. Your boss. Day after tomorrow. He's really very nice. I know that I'm doing the right thing, and I think that we can be really happy. And you don't really need me, David. Say so you don't. Why did you wait till now to tell me? Well, at first I was nervous, and then I realized I wanted to go to bed with you one last time. And you are such a gentleman, David. I, I knew you wouldn't let me if I told you first.
خوش می لب دارید خوش می لب. I think it's a damn shame. He's hardly been here a year yet, and already he is well on the way to turning the school into a police state. Concentration camps, don't they call them that in South Africa? Dear, dear. I couldn't be hearing the voice of frustrated ambition, could I? Well, it's possible. I think we flatter ourselves about the effect we have on the school. It's minimal. The longer I stay here, the more convinced I am we don't make a damn bit of difference. <laughs> Look at old Stoker Monk there. Off for his afternoon pipe. A man with but one thought in his mind. Oh, there you are, PJ. Poor Carter's jawed him, beaten him. Then you start pleading with him to give up the filthy weed, no effect. Do you think Monk cares whether all cockerheads or anyone's in the driving seat? He'll have his daily pipe. It's all that matters to him. You're a cynic. Ah, it's the classics that have done that to me, my boy. History ought to do the same for you. Isn't the great lesson of history that nothing ever changes? One thing I don't understand about Alcock is why the boys keep on calling him Noble. I can think of many epithets for him, but Noble hardly leaps to mind. He does love writing notices, doesn't he? Oh, well, there's your explanation, Barnaby. Noble Alcock. Very witty. It's very pleasing. <laughs> I say, PJ, what are you doing? Oh, the letter of two evils, I think. You're not going to show it to him? Good God, no. I think I'll have it framed for my private collection. Noble sentiment. Yesterday, I had cause to mention a missing notice. I'm sorry to have to say that notice has not been returned. I have therefore to take steps that will involve the innocent. Unless that notice reaches me by lights out tonight, Saturday's half-term holiday will be cancelled. School. Come in. Do take a seat, Polly Jones. I won't keep you a moment. Some crackers. Oh, well, that's fine. That's absolutely splendid. Well, come on, then. It's really good to see you again, Julia. I've been beginning to think I'm living in a madhouse. I always thought it was. Less now, is it? Oh, it's this man, Alcock. He's a really cold fish. I think he winds himself up with a key every morning. Oh, he's efficient, all right, but... Well, all he seems to be concerned about is economy and sanitation. Ooh, what a nasty combination. Lovely. David, are you... are you on duty tonight? Our housemaster's on duty 24 oh, hours. Oh, I know that. You know what I mean. I think I could arrange for us not to be disturbed.